Okay, this is just a quick walkthrough of setting up a USB interface with DaVinci Resolve 17.1. This is on. Uh, it's just going to be a two in, two out. So the first thing we need to do is set up your system sounds. Uh, so right click, open sound settings, and you can see here your input and output devices for Windows system sounds are configured. Um, I've got SSL converters, which is showing at the moment, but I'm going to hook up a little two in, two out Zoom H6. The first thing is setting my output for the system. I'm going to set that to the headphones on the H6. And then input, which is the microphone on the H6, there's, there's two inputs there. Uh, if you test it, you can see a bit of audio there. Uh, and that's it for that. So close that down. That's your Windows system sound set. Uh, we're going to open up Resolve. I'm just going to speed that up a bit. It's raining here, as you can hear. Beautiful Melbourne. Another beautiful day in Melbourne. Uh, okay. It's going to load. It's going to load a project with just video video and stereo audio uh, and so there's the audio there nearly sent me deaf uh, I'm just going to turn that down so from here add a track this is the track we're going to record the voiceover on uh, I'm going to rename that voice over yeah, that's good. Um, and if I try and arm this, you'll see that it won't go into record. That's because nothing's patched to the input. If you look over here on the mixer in the Fairlight page, you'll see it says no input. So what we need to do is patch the input of the microphone, which is probably going to be one that your mic's plugged into, over to this voiceover track. So up here in the Fairlight page, we need to pick patch input output that's our patching page and you can see there there's going to be a bunch of different options in these drop downs uh, for your source and your destination what we need is audio inputs which is already there and for the destination track input because we're patching to the input of the track yep so we'll get that and you can see there uh, that's showing all the track inputs left and right for the video and the voiceover track and over to the left are the two microphone inputs on our interface my mic is plugged into one so i'm going to select microphone one and when you select it uh, you'll see a little white box will come around to show you that what you selected and in source i'm going to pick voiceover because it's the track and hit patch and that's it it's really that simple now if we go back in and arm that track there's some audio, that's just me clicking my thumbs. Now when you record, um, I should have mentioned, you can't just hit the space bar, you've got to push this button up here, the record button. And it'll... And if I just mute that, you can hear what I just recorded, which is my incredible finger clicking I'm professional um, now that's the way you do it from pretty much any page there's a simpler way I'm going to show you just reset that so there's no input to that track so we're kind of back to where we started gonna delete that uh, now in the Fairlight page so up in that menu, there was that patch input output, but there's a, there's a quicker way to do it if you're in the Fairlight page, which is to go over to the mixer for the track you want to record on. So that's the voiceover and click up the top. You'll see it says no input. If you click input, that automatically opens up the page and your voiceover track is selected. So all you need to actually do is click on the microphone input you want, number one in this case, and hit patch and you're done. And away you go ready to record again 
So there's the input. It's not recording because I like the space bar. Ah, uh, that's better. Yeah, there it is. So it's really that simple. Um, hopefully that'll help someone. Or maybe it won't. Uh, the rain's getting heavier. So uh, I'm going to get out of here. See you later.